Hi there and welcome back to another episode at Station Road. Now today is the day of proof. Will this cutting diorama fit back into the layout where it's intended to go? So today's video is covering the cutting being installed back into the layout and of course it involves a number of steps and things that I needed to do beforehand before I could actually install it back into its location. So of course one of the things that I needed to do was make up some tunnel portals for each end of the cutting and originally I thought of using some of the remaining arches that were part of the Metcalf Viaduct kit but because of the angle that these tunnel portals are actually positioned in relation to the track I would have had to have extended or widened the portals in some fashion so I ended up using the arches from the Metcalf bridge kit which has a wider span on it and the dimensions actually worked out absolutely perfectly so fortunately I had one of these kits because originally I was going to use it elsewhere on the layout so it's been repurposed now so the tunnel portal components were assembled in a similar sort of fashion I used some 3mm MDF and essentially I constructed them as separate units that then could slide into place and be fixed and glued in place so I decided not to do the brick arching over the roof because it was getting rather complicated and there's also some height restrictions in there but I was able to build out some internal brick wall inside the tunnel portals just to give it a little bit more authenticity so these are also then weathered in the same fashion of course as the retaining walls so you'll notice I've painted the interior areas where the portals go in a matte black paint and also the back of the tunnel portals as well this is just to try and reduce some of the lighting and make the portals look a little bit darker so these portals were just fixed into place with some PVA wood glue and they're now nice and secure so after that of course was to install the actual diorama itself and fortunately it did actually fit in reasonably well and there wasn't too much surgery in any way that I had to perform to get this to slide back into place and to anchor the diorama into place on the framework and as you can see we have a nice neat and tidy alignment of the track from the diorama into the tunnel portals and then of course it was a case of ballasting the track as far as I could possibly go within the tunnel portals and then also weather that ballast so we had a seamless join more or less between that and the weathered track that I'd done in the cutting area of course what I'll be doing here is I'll be adding in possibly some more vegetation little bits of overgrowth and things like that possibly a little bit more scattered rubbish as well inside the portal to continue that disused abandoned theme so we already had the retaining walls constructed and built quite some time ago actually for the other side of the cutting and that was just simply a case of weathering up those retaining walls to match the other side and then install them into place now I did sort of consider how best to secure those into place and brace them while the glue dried so I was just using normal wood PVA glue originally I sort of thought maybe I can brace it from the other side of the cutting but in the end I decided not to because I kind of felt that I didn't really want to sort of damage what I'd done so I've just used some small tacks to anchor the larger section in place and that of course is glued and then in the smaller section I actually used some tiny little wee track screws and that was mainly because there wasn't enough space in there to wield a small tack hammer in order to get little wee tacks in there so it's possibly a little bit of an unorthodox method really but what I've done is then gone over and disguised or touched up those 
nail or screw heads with a little bit of paint to kind of match the brickwork and then probably what I'll do is add some vegetation to that side of the retaining walls as well similar to the other side and possibly maybe disguise it a little bit further in some way there so there we have the majority of it now set up now there's still more to do I've done the parapet wall above the tunnel portal at one end I still have the wall to do at the other end and that is by the station so I'm kind of actually thinking I might kind of combine a bit of a remodeling of that end of the station platform as well. So I've put the hillside back in place of course we, that will be the next part to get on with and the engine shed as well so you can sort of get a rough idea of how it's starting to shape up. So the final thing to finish off this particular episode is we'll get a few trains running through and we'll also take a cab ride and see how that looks as well. So there we have it for today's episode. The next episode, we'll get onto the hillside and also look at the other overhead road bridge, which is now going to go up over the upper level of tracks and into a back scene. So I certainly hope you've enjoyed today's video. And once again, hopefully you've gained some inspiration and insights to maybe take for into your layouts as well. Also, I would just like to thank everyone who has subscribed and also the many wonderful comments that people have been submitting in the previous episodes so we'll sign off for now do take care everyone and look after yourselves and i will catch you next time bye for now